Hi, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sulaiman Surani. So in my previous tutorial, I went through character movement and multiple animations. Today, I'll be adding coins as well as creating the scoreboard to my gameplay. So before we start, make sure you subscribe to my channel and like this video. Alright, so the first thing that I would like to do is for me to insert my coins. I'll double click outside and um, click on Sprite and I'm going to call these coins. Alright, and as for uh, my coins, I have um, a few animation, coins frame animation. Um, and I'm going to import all of them. So this is quite similar to what we did previously in my previous tu uh, tutorial video. And if I click on the animation panel at the top, I can actually create, I can actually set the speed to 5. And I'm going to loop it. And I can click uh, play to preview. So this is how my coin will look like on my gameplay. Happy with that. I'm going to close this. And I'm going to resize and I'm going to place my coin here. And I'm going to copy and paste, Control C, Control V on the keyboard. And I'm just going to paste a few coins on the layout for the character to collect. Now we're going to add scoreboard to this as such that when uh, the character collects the coin, um, we're going to add 5 to the scoreboard. So if I click preview, I can see my coins nicely placed on the layout. So at the moment, um, my character will just walk past it. Right, we want to code in such a way that when character hits the coin, it will collect the coin and gain some points. So I'm gonna close this, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna hit to my event sheet one. As you can see, I already have a line of codes here from my previous session. So I'm gonna add event. My hero. On collision with another object. Um, click to choose the icon. I'm gonna click coin. Add action and the coin next and the coin will destroy so i'm going to scroll down and look for destroy under miscellaneous click next so hero on collision with my coins my coin will destroy and i'm going to add my score later on so now my, when my character move it will collect the coins So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the scoreboard. I'm going to go back to my layout. I'm going to insert text under general. I'm going to call this um, score. And I'm going to, under text here, I'm going to just um, put zero. And I'm going to make it bold. Okay, so adjust the size to make sure that it looks well on the layout so it's going to be top left hand corner so i'm going to copy and paste this and i'm going to place this right at the side right so instead of adding the word score um i'm going to have the coin instead and the number here that represents the score i must ensure that i actually leave some space in case the number reaches 200 so it will not overlap the coin so I'm just going to place a bit to the right. I can adjust this again later. So I'm just going to place it there. So I think the size is just about right. So I'm going to head back to my event sheet. I'm going to right click and add a global variable. Okay, so this is crucial for the scoreboard system. So I'm going to uh, name it score. Uh, it has to be a number type. Initial value is set to zero and I click OK. So I have my global variable there at the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add event. System. Okay, I'm going to look for every tick. Every tick here represents every second. So system every second. I'm going to choose score. And I'm going to set text. I look for set text. Go next. And um, there's a colon here, so I'm going to leave um, the center um, empty because um, I replaced my score um, to the coin image. So I'm going to leave that blank. Instead, I'm going to type in um, space end score. And this score is, of course, from the global variable. And I click done. 
okay so system everything score set text to zero so in order to collect points um, the character will have to hit the coin and under my line number nine i'm going to add an action i'm going to go to system under global variable i'm going to add two and score right i can add the value of the score here so depending on how many points you want to reward the player a point collecting the points i'm going to i'm going to give you a 10 points and um, click done okay so hero on collision with the coins the coins will not only destroy but there will be added 10 to the scoreboard so i'm gonna hit play and test the game okay so as you can see my character can collect the coin as well as increase in the scoreboard right so um, when i move my character at the moment the error that i have now at the moment is that my score and my coin is now um, left out it doesn't follow the screen okay so we want to adjust that in such a way that wherever we move the coin and the uh, uh, scoreboard follows the screen so i'm going to close this and um, because here as you can see on the right side um, un just below the project panel we have this layer panel currently my layer 0 holds all my object types all the sprites right so what i want to do is i want to create a new layer add the layer on top i'm going to call it layer 1 so on layer 1 i'm going to go to the properties panel on the left side um, under parallax parallax is 100% by 100% i'm going to choose i'm going to change this to 0 0 by 0 and press enter so 0% by 0% so layer 0 is at 100% remains the same but my layer 1 I'm going to change it to 0 by 0 and what I'm going to do is um, I'm only going to um, change um, my coin and my scoreboard to layer 1 so if I click on my coin here um, in the properties panel under layers I'm, instead of layer 0 I'm now going to choose layer 1 um, similarly for my scoreboard I'm gonna click on layer 1 so what happens is that when I click play okay so now if I move my character my scoreboard and my coin should follow the screen okay so that's what we want right um, that's it for today's tutorial uh, just a short tutorial on adding coins and adding scoreboard to your gameplay let me know if you've enjoyed this tutorial um, give it a like and subscribe to my channel i upload video tutorials every week and let me know in the comment section um, any part of construct tree that you would like to learn so the next tutorial will be creating timer as well as creating music for your gameplay thank you for watching my video till the next tutorial